<sighs> I get. What up, people? So I finished Stephen King's The Dark Tower. And I know, I know all these words are backwards, but this says Stephen King's Gunslinger. Okay, first book, The Dark Tower, hijacks. And uh, I finished it a couple days ago, actually. But I've been out of town and haven't had time to make a video. And I've been uh, working on the Wheel of Time a lot recently. I'm not prepared to put out videos on the Wheel of Time yet. I might, when I finish the series, might do a little reread, something along those lines, but I'm not prepared to put out reviews on it right now. Anyway, this is my first Stephen King read. And I gotta say, Stephen King can uh, piss off, alright? God, he writes in an annoying style. It is so... I, I, I don't know if it's just this book or if it's Stephen King's style, but I found the writing extremely irritating. Um, first of all, his like weird, kind of gross focus on sexual things... It's just really strange. Like, I read it and I'm like, well, why? What, what does this provide to the story? It's just weird. And then, he's so heavily symbolic. And, you know, towards the end of this book, it made a little more sense because the religious themes and the symbolism made a little more sense, but it's like, Dude, lay off of the symbolism. I just, I don't know what's going on. I am, I was confused at a bunch of things I read during this book. And I felt like Stephen King detracted from his own story with the way he wrote. I thought this story itself was very interesting. I thought the concepts were very interesting. The idea of a tower at like the center of creation and multiple worlds and just who Roland, our main character, is, I thought that was all interesting. So when you write it, make it make sense, dude. The, the, I, I remember being a hundred pages in or so, and it's only a 250 page book, it's not huge. Going to my girlfriend and I'm like, what in the drug adult mind am I reading? Like, what is he talking about? And I found it real frustrating. That being said, I still liked the book. I did. Um, it's like a three-star book for me. I enjoyed it. thought it was fascinating. thought it was freaking weird. And uh, from other people I talked to who read Stephen King, Stephen King's kind of weird. Uh, Roland is interesting. I liked when we'd get flashbacks and get to learn about the character of Roland. I hear that a lot. Yeah. I apologize for my dog. He starts chewing the second I make a video. Don't you, Jax? Look at him. Oh, now he's going to leave. Where are you going? He was chewing on that bone. I apologize for the noise. Me making a video is his cue to make noise. Anyway, uh, I am excited to see where this series goes. Hey, give me the bone. Give me the bone. Bring it here. Thank you. Yes. You can have his bone back when I'm done recording. Can't you? Yeah. Look at him, he looks so offended. Did I take your bone? Huh? Yeah. From the very beginning, it doesn't explain what's going on. It's like, hey, there's this guy, and he's chasing another guy. And then you end up with like, Weird demonic rituals occurring and things like that. 
And you're just like, well, what is my context here? What is going on? Uh, I would like to know more. I am really curious to see about the concept of the Dark Tower being the center of the universe, I suppose, is what it seems like. And I will be picking up book two. I'm going to check it out. Part of me didn't want to finish The Gunslinger. But I was also intrigued and curious enough by the story that I did. And then I believe the last 50 pages of it, I was I was there, man. I was, I was invested in the last 50 pages. Like I said, I, f I feel like Stephen King's writing style... I'm going to have to get used to it if I'm going to enjoy these stories as much as I think they could be enjoyed. Are you saying hi to the camera, Jax? And, you know, book two, book three, I'm definitely going to read them, and we'll see where the story goes from there. Right now, I really don't think I'd recommend this book very highly. It's interesting if you want to pick it up, if you want to read it. I think your main character is interesting. I will provide a warning that if you haven't read Stephen King, which I am not an experienced Stephen King reader, like I said, it's my first Stephen King book. He has an odd writing style. He's kind of gross. There's a lot of uh, just disturbing descriptions. But he's also pretty skillful in his writing. He has a tendency to be far too subtle for my tastes in some of the things that he puts on the page. But there's no denying that the skill in writing is there. That's it, folks. Gunslinger, book one in the Dark Tower series. 3.5 review for me. I'm going to check out the rest of the series, but I might read something else, you know. I'm probably going to start up Mistborn, check that out, check out a few other books, and then pick up book two. Thanks for watching, everybody. Leave a comment. Let me know, you know, is this, is that how Stephen King writes? Is he extremely symbolic and, I don't know, vague? With a penchant for grossness and... Uh, a lot of sexuality or is you know is it an anomaly do I need to get used to this let me know what's going on if you've read the book I would love to hear your opinions on it because I think this is a book that you have to think about in order to understand it and uh thanks for watching again peace out and FYI I gave him his bone back he's happy now